action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Tim Cheatham sees the contest 117 to 110. Judge David Sutherland sees it 116 to 111. And Judge Steve Weisfeld sees it 115 to 112. For your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo, Canelo. Alvarez. Remember what I said about the judges? They got it right, but no scores. Well, guys, there you have it. Um, Canelo Alvarez defeated. Um, I'm a Mungia in a majority decision basically. Um it was a very interesting fight I have to say. Canelo is um is a special fighter, you know. I don't usually give praises to people that have fit before, uh, which Canelo did. Let's not forget that. Same way Ranga said just recently did, okay. But you have to give this guy his, his due credit is I don't think he's ever been dropped, basically. And in this fight, it was uh, a fight between a very experienced veteran against um, an upcoming um, um, fighter that has a lot of, with a lot of potential. You know, the traits I see among yeah, is that he's got this resilience. You know, he got dropped, knocked down in the fourth round by Canelo. And he kept on fighting. And the interesting part is that Mungia, Canelo didn't jump on Mungia. So Canelo hasn't scored a knockout now uh, for, for the last five fights. So you can understand why. Um, yeah, like. Some fighters they want to like it when they are in that. Um, when some fighters are in that phase in their career, they and if they haven't scored a knockout for some time, they want to like get one in, you know what I mean? So, oh, uh, yeah, this last five fights has been a decision. You know, so this was a unanimous decision. Definitely, you know, like it was an easy work for Canelo, but Mungia will come back stronger. He has potential. I see a lot of potential in Mungia because he's very active for a fighter. He throws a lot of punches. He's twenty seven. You know. So Canelo was basically his main, uh, of course, he's fought Devry, he fought Devryshenko, um, Devryenko, and for John Ryder, Gabriel Rosado. Mungia is, a, is, an, is an elite fighter, but he's still very young, so he will learn a lot from this loss. Canelo, um, how did Canelo win this fight? Well, it was like basically precision um excellent counter punch uh, skill set that he has in his tools um Mungia didn't see the knockout coming in round four so it was a, a very like cripsy cripsy uh, uh uppercut that landed and Mungia was very hurt and but kind of didn't jump in to finish the job because when you're a veteran, you want to punish your opponent instead of trying to knock them out. Because you, you might make a mistake of, okay, this guy is hurt. Let me jump on him. And then the guy comes by with, with a counter punch that could well, knock you out. This is one of the game. Congrats to Canelo. Um, it is very nice um, that... Um, he retained his uh, uh, super middleweight uh, titles. 
you know, still undisputed in the division. I know, like, Benavides will be talked about. You know, people want to see that fight. People want to talk about that fight. And the PBC won't want to make that fight happen in a way. But I believe Canelo, Benavides is a big guy. So size does matter. And you can understand. But I think Benavides should fight his own size. Fight before. And looking at the fight against, I think Mungia tried to fight like Bivol. He was very active. He was, um, he was very active, definitely. He was like, um, his jab was very crispy, like I said. Um, crispy. It was crispy, uh, crispy. And then he tried to like, Oh, it was very active. Like the jab was 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 one of the key things, but the punch accuracy wasn't there. That is because, you know, of in his inexperience. You you might say, "Wow, this guy had over uh forty three fights." So how come you say that? Well, because you have forty three fights against people that are not of Canelo's level, or even close to that. So that's the thing. So, congrats to Canelo. This was a, an excellent win. Yeah, people will say the Benavides fight needs to happen next and all that. But I don't think it's, a nece- it's necessary. Benavides, Benavides should fight someone his way. Should go, f- go fight before. Move up. Fight before, bro. He's moving up right to light heavyweight. So, he's fighting a guy called jo- Jovonich. I don't know. I can't pronounce his name. Let me know Bush out the name. But if he's fighting a guy, then we'll see how good he is. But you know, that's not the top guy in the division. Before he's there, before he's free, why not take the fight? Why not if you really about that life? Because people need to see you prove yourself first. No doubt Benavides is an excellent fighter. That's another monster in the making. But he needs to be tested. Oh, well, you know what I mean? So just one of those things um, that you kind of um, try to understand. Canelo tries his best to fight the best. It's not that easy, you know. So Canelo um, was asked if you fight the business after of Kabili Mungia. And he said, I don't rule right now. I'm going to rest. I'm going to enjoy my family. But if the money is right, I can fight right now. I don't give a shit. I fought with everyone. They said I'm not going to fight all of them. So right now, I can do whatever I want. And I'm Mexican. Well, if the money is right, he says. So, yeah, like, Canelo is the man, man. He's the money man. So, the money man. Just one of those things. And uh, we'll see. How this plays out. Congrats to Mungia. Not a very good fight. But Canelo is like. A different. He's a different level. Mungia would beat a lot of fighters though. Like. Other than Canelo. He would beat a lot of fighters. Because he was very active. His punches were. Crispy. uh, crispy. His jab is. Is lethal. His right hand. Is like. Like a bomb. He throws. Lethal right hands. Lethal punches. But Canelo was able to take it because Canelo, one thing about Canelo is that he has to respect your power in order for you to be him. If you don't, if he doesn't respect your power, he will, he will dominate you. And this is what he did. So guys, a lot of you should subscribe. Uh, God bless you all for supporting the channel. Viva Mexico.